Hello and welcome back to Johnny Benny Campus News, your go-to channel for updates on campus life and events. I'm Ben Bugby. In this week's edition of Johnny Benny Campus News, we'll be covering weather and sports exclusively as students and staff from around the campus prepare for some time away for Easter break. Now as we've transitioned to our weekend weather report, we must keep in mind that it has been quite the snowy week here in Collegeville. To give the latest updates on what's in store for the upcoming weekend, let's toss it over to our weather expert, Landon Modio, for the Johnny Benny Weekend Weather Report. Thanks, Ben, and welcome back to the Johnny Benny Weekend Weather Report. I'm Landon Monio, your weather reporter. Let's dive right in. Last week's snowstorms caused many cancellations on Monday and Tuesday, moving classes to Zoom remote learning. Snowfall totaled 12.9 inches in St. Cloud, ranked as the 8th highest March snowfall on record. Friday starts off mostly cloudy with a high of 36 degrees. There will be a 30% chance of snow, mainly before noon, then a chance of freezing rain between noon and 3 p.m. We can expect southeast winds of 10 to 15 miles per hour with 25 miles per hour gusts. Expect little to no ice or snow accumulation. Friday night will be mostly cloudy with a low of 26 degrees. There is a 40% chance of rain before 1 a.m. Saturday is partly sunny with a high of 38 degrees. Saturday night will be mostly cloudy with a low of 22. Throughout Saturday, expect northwestern winds of 10 miles per hour. To wrap up the weekend, Sunday brings 20% chance of snow before 2 p.m. and a 30% chance of rain after 2 p.m. Sunday will be mostly cloudy with a high near 38 degrees. Expect an eastern wind of 5 to 10 miles per hour. On Sunday night, the snow continues with a 40% chance of both rain and snow. Temperatures will drop to 28 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Expect a northeast wind of 5 to 10 miles per hour. That's all for this week's weekend's weather. I'm Landon Monio, and this has been your Johnny Benny Campus News Weekend Weather Report. Remember to be safe, stay warm, and have a fantastic weekend. Thanks for keeping us informed, Landon. It looks like uh, we might be in for a mix of weather this weekend. Now let's shift gears once again and hand it over to our sports reporters, Brendan and Chloe, for the latest on Johnny Benny Sports. Thanks, Ben. I'm Brandon Amaris. And I'm Chloe Moore. And welcome back to the Johnny Benny Sports Roundup, your source for updates on Johnny and Benny Sports. Because of the blizzard earlier this week, there were some cancellations and postponements for some Benny and Johnny teams. Despite this, Benny softball and Johnny and Benny tennis were still in action this past weekend. Brendan will start us off by telling you about the CSB softball team who fell to 2-8 and eight on Saturday. The Bennies dropped game one of the doubleheader opener. Despite the loss, sophomore Olivia Van Hoot had a career-high three hits, including a first-inning RBI triple to put them up 1-0. After a three-run second inning, CSB found themselves up 4-0, heading into the third. Unfortunately for the Bennies, Coe College scored three in the fourth and another two in the sixth to lead 5-4, which would end up being the final score. Sophomore Olivia Wallace started on the mound, and she allowed eight hits and five runs in seven innings. Wallace fell to one and four on the season. Unfortunately, the Bennies couldn't bounce back in game two, falling four to one. Van Hoot added another hit, and Kat Smetna had her fifth RBI of the year, but CSB just couldn't get the offense going. Ellie Peterson took her fourth loss of the season, allowing seven hits and four runs in four innings. Addie Bone came in in relief, and was able to shut out Cole College. The Bennies hope to bounce back tomorrow against Wartburg College at 1 p.m. in Iowa. Next up, Chloe will tell you about Benny Tennis's win for St. Scholastica. CSB Tennis improved to 2-0 in the MIAC and 4-4 overall last Saturday in Virginia, Minnesota. The Bennies swept the doubles and split the singles matches, taking three. At number one doubles, junior Ashley Terrelly and Sophia Jonas beat Julia Mayer and Martina Garcia 8-7. The number one duo is now 3-1 on the season. At number two doubles, senior Peyton Copel and junior Greta Nesbitt moved to 4-4 overall and 2-0 in conference play with an 8-7 victory. 
Nesbitt also found success at number three singles, defeating Michelle Benitz 6-2 and 6-3. Nesbitt is now 4-4 four four on the year. Her performance earned her her first career Mayak Tennis Player of the Week honor. Nesbitt has won three of her past five singles matches, including two in a row. Next up, the Bennies take on St. Catherine University on April 6 at the Chang Tennis Courts in Collegeville. Now, Brendan will wrap up this week's sports roundup with Johnny Tennis, who also took on St. Scholastica in Virginia, Minnesota. The Johnnies weren't able to find the same success as the Bennies in their return to conference play last Saturday. SJU was swept in doubles competition and split the singles matches. Freshman Sam Wolden from St. Louis Park, Minnesota, won his singles match at number three. Senior Mark Rosen also won at number six, and fellow senior Mason Meyer recorded the Johnnies' third singles victory via super breaker, six to four, then three to six, and ten to five. Weather permitting, the Johnny's next match is against 12th ranked Gustavus Adolphus at the Chang Tennis Complex in Collegeville on April 6th. That will wrap up this week's Johnny Benny Sports Roundup. We hope everyone has a relaxing Easter weekend and good luck to all the Bennies and Johnnies competing this week. Thanks as always for watching. Now back to you, Ben. Thanks as always to Brendan and Chloe for delivering the latest updates on Johnny Benny Sports and activities. And with that, we wrap up another week's edition of Johnny Benny Campus News. Before we sign off here at Johnny Benny Media, we want to wish all of our viewers a fantastic Easter break. Whether you're taking a trip, spending time with family and friends, or just enjoying some well-deserved downtime, we hope that you have a great break. And we'll see you back soon with more updates on campus life and events. But until then, I'm Ben Bugby. Have a great break.